Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short, and today we're cosplaying as Mika Sun. Now, now, before anybody say, "Well, Shay, that that that's the laziest fucking cosplay I have seen so far from you," well, I will give you a full fledged explanation. The jacket that I bought did not accommodate my titties. Okay, so I couldn't do that, and then the shirt did not accommodate either only thing that accommodated was this goddamn scarf so that's what we're rolling with mika son back with the fuck the scarf amen hallelujah we're going to be reviewing we're going to be reacting to dj the champ and i was going to let y'all know we are going to do the last season of attack on titans i have been fucking loving that shit i had to give it a second with the animation style i had to because i didn't fucking like it in being in the beginning but I had to give it a second and bruh, this shit is off the goddamn rails and I am fully enjoying it. I will be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. <clears throat> hello, hello. Uh, can, can y'all niggas hear me? Gotta make sure this is on before I give this speech. But uh, here we go. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye, all ye Eldians. I have an announcement to make. Uh, I don't really know how to put it any other way. So uh, here we go. I'm about to step on these niggas. Yes. So yeah, uh, have a great day. And we do. Hey. On a long. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for us to return to the world of Attack on Titan. Oh my God, a yes. World where we will observe some of the most outlandish, most yes. outrageous Black Air Force activities to ever be seen by the human eye. And just the straight up atrocities committed by the menace of Eldia himself, Aaron Yeager. But before we get started, y'all already know I got to give out that spoiler warning real quick. So if you have not seen episode 76 through 81, uh, I advise go watching them hoes real quick. But yes. I know some y'all niggas don't care. And I know some of y'all already read the manga so f it without further ado let's get in this bitch. oh my god yes so as we can see marley then pulled up on ld's block and my nigga this is a whole ass invasion but of course you know aaron is not having that shit. so yelena's trying to tell him hey bro nigga the ops are here you need to get your ass to out of here but Aaron's just looking at it like <laughs> you think i run it from the smoke now nah, that she and the ops about to be dead ops in a few seconds mm -hmm. so Aaron's just walking down and just looking at them all like y'all niggas really thought y'all was about to pull up on my block with that sweet shit <laughs> shit ain't sweet and eldia nigga so then here come reiner coming down to get his, his ass beat for <laughs> nigga i didn't lost count the 30th time literally literally reiner has gotten his ass beat ever since he was a goddamn child uh, and this is not it, literally his ass beat there his ass beat well i mean he did he did he did he did fight fight against annie okay after she whooped his ass before they invaded he got his ass beat by annie fucking um uh, fucking jaeger fucking jaeger fucking jaeger mika son I think Levi whooped his ass one time. Like, like literally, literally, Reiner is the redheaded stepchild of this whole damn thing. Reiner has, Reiner has so much goddamn plot armor. That's why he is the armor titan, okay? Reiner has been getting his ass molly wop since day one. I'm just saying. And me as Mika son, I'm being dead serious. I don't understand how this nigga is still alive. Like for real, how many times this man got his ass beat? Bitch ass nigga! Yep. Fight back, bitch! Fight, fight, fight back! Why ain't no way, boy? Move your ass! Ah. Yep. Ah. Yep. We. Calm down. We. I don't even think I got all of them. So they get to the scrap it and Aaron's already slamming them and shit. So Reiner's just throwing hands trying to do his best Dempsey roll impression. But Wrong answer! But then Aaron grabs his arm and go. then just blocks him in the face. And then, God! 
God damn it, nigga. Sat him on his ass. And look at him giving him the feet and shit. Like, <laughs> nigga, he beating the shit out of his ass. And well, then Porco comes behind and tries to sneak him. And now they're trying to jump his ass. But then he just straight up shanks both of them at the same time. And just straight up posted their asses up. But this. Editor Shay here. Um, I nerded out a lot during this review. So indulge me while I'm editing. Just indulge me a little bit, okay? I tried to to keep it contained, but it, it didn't it didn't go too well. So just part in my nerd outness, okay? Thank you. With the fucking oh my god, that episode fucking bangs, bro. Oh my god. When he fucking got when he got the war the the Warhammer Titan fucking episode fucking bang, dog. I am being dead serious. Just do a review on it, Shay, because literally you gonna be here and we not even gonna be talking about why he's a menace. But he's not a menace. I don't think he's a menace. I, I really do not think he's a fucking menace at all. And I'm gonna plead my goddamn case, okay? Maybe it's because I'm Mika's son right now and maybe it's because of the fact that the matter is that it's a, it's in my blood to defend this nigga. Mika's son is, I'm probably channeling, hold up. Mika's son is to Aaron as Shay Too Sweet is to Vegeta. And I'm about to defend this nigga, okay? Literally, they have said, everybody in this motherfucking, in the world has said, hey, yo, because we don't, because these niggas did this to us thousands of fucking years ago, we gonna go mark their ass and everything else. That's basically it. So the world was gonna murk them in the first place and the only plan that they was gonna come up with is euthanization. And I'm like, that's not a, so, so it's okay for everybody to bully this one kid and right when that one kid fight back and whoop everybody ass, now everybody got a fucking problem? Fuck off, okay? He did nothing wrong. Oh my God. We are not even two minutes into this damn video, Shay. Okay. Aaron gets sniped in the head. Hit his ass with a long shot. So then Marley just starts blasting on them niggas. All the ops posted up, they just busting caps in their asses. Hitting them niggas with that. But then Aaron gets sniped in the head again, and, and bro, this just looks bad at this point. My boy getting his ass beat. And then Reiner just comes in just straight up stabs him. So while Aaron's getting his cheeks clapped outside, the gang's deciding, all right, bro, should we help this nigga or not? <laughs> well, then Armin asks me, Kasa, hey, girl, uh, you want to help this nigga or not? I mean, he did tell your ass off a few episodes ago, and she wants to, but yo, she debating in her mind herself. She was, here we go. See, that's the funniest thing is, is it's so funny because it could be Mikasa, Mika Sun, whatever. Uh, I, I'm I'm not reco recording re recording this if I fucked up her name because it's Mikasa, Mika Sun. It all depends on who the fuck you talk to. So Mikasa, Mika Sun, y'all don't come for me unless I send for y'all asses. Bitch, I do what I want. Okay. Looking like damn. See, I'm like, when did she get boobs? And then that's my whole thing is when she got boobs, I have been having them. Why the fuck did my cosplay fit? I didn't rather really do this shit. Looking at that musty ass scarf she ain't taken off since season one. So Armin's trying to give him a pep talk. Like, come on, y'all, we gotta do this shit. My boy's getting his cheeks clapped outside. But then they just said, I right, let's just go help the niggas. So then Porco comes up trying to sneak Aaron again. Uh-oh. Fuck ass, into oblivion. Made that nigga fold like a rag doll. So while Aaron's screaming his ass off, trying to get Reiner off of him, he ends up getting pelted in the head. And that boy Zeke hit his ass with a fastball, bruh. So Zeke just starts throwing the straight up pelting niggas. So while Mikasa's getting ready to fight, oh girl, like, hey, so you gonna leave that musty ass scarf behind? And she like, yeah, that nigga hurt me. <laughs> About damn time you leave that musty ass scarf. I know that shit stank. I hope you give that shit a good watch too after this shit over. So the squad pulling up and they ready for the smoke. So while all hell is breaking loose, Yelena is doing- She is fucking crazy, okay? I don't trust a chick with a bowl haircut to save my life. This girl is crazy as hell. And I swore half the season while she was still talking, I was like, nah, this nigga's a dude. Like I I was like, I was like, I don't give a fuck what anybody say. That that bitch is crazy, okay? She look like it's not because she look like a dude. She is just crazy as hell, okay? 
And, and, and this is what you end up with when you want senpai to notice you. This is what happens when fangirling goes too fucking far. Literally half of her, half of her thing was she just needed fucking validation and shit. Okay. Right. When you find bitches that just need validation, leave their ass alone. Okay. Cause you'll end up like a crazy, that crazy bitch right there with bow haircut and everything else. I'm just saying she crazy as hell. What in the deal is this? But her weird ass is enjoying this shit. And look at her. Oh, Zika. I can smell his musty, hairy fragrance from here. So while Aaron's limping over to Zeke, Ryder ends up charging at about Zeke. It's a strike. You're out. Yo, look at Connie. That nigga said, um, I think Ryan is the one that needs help. Because that boy getting his ass beat for the 50 millionth time. See, that's why they gave the nigga the armor type. Because the nigga can't fight for shit. So they got to make him durable whenever he get his ass beat. So Facts. And then he wasn't even supposed to inherit that shit. That's the fucked up part about it. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> you got it. Because you got it. Because somebody brother was shit talking his other brother. Because he didn't want his brother to die in 13 years. So he was trying to protect his brother. And he's like, man, sacrifice that weak nigga over there. He ain't doing shit. He over there kissing ass and everything else trying to report me and trying to report me like I'm like, I'm like, like I'm one of those crazy separatists and everything else. Yeah. Let that nigga die in 13 years. He going to get his ass beat so many times like he has before. And like he will continue to get his ass beat in the rest of this damn season. He's around to talk to everybody. What the f What the fuck is that? Is that? Yo, she looking at that nigga like I beg your pardon. And yo, look how fast she changed up. Nah, bro, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's 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 a crazy bitch. Run from her. Run from her. If she could do that real like that, run from her. Run as fast as you can to the middle of nowhere. Oh no, no. No, f no. Don't run to the middle of nowhere. Run by some people because she's crazy as hell. So while Gabby, Falco, and Colt are hiding, Gabby's like, damn, I'm actually starting to feel bad for the bitch with the potato. <laughs> Shit about them, how my eyes then fucking open? Sasha's whole family even like straight up forgiving her, like, I hope she okay. Yeah, not everybody damn devils. Well, I mean, except for this nigga. This nigga a demon. So while Aaron's limping his ass over to Zeke, Zeke looks over at the cart titan like, damn, girl. Peak, you was fine as hell, but you had to end, girl. But they ended up using her skeleton as camouflage. And Zeke ends up getting shot. Is this nigga serious? He dead! I thought that was so funny as hell. still trying to get to Zeke, Porco comes out nowhere and sneaks him again. Wrong answer! But Aaron straight up breaks his back. And then he just started beating his skull in. And that just done. But then they end up shooting his arm off. So while they got him pinned down, Zeke is like, shit. All right, all y'all niggas that drunk that damn wine, <laughs> I got to use your ass now. So he's about to turn everybody into a titan. But Colt brings up a Falco and he's like, hey, yo, chill, cuz Falco drunk some of that shit too. But then Zeke looks at him like, well, that's a damn shame. <laughs> so yeah, bro, Zeke turned all these niggas into titans. Shit be cray. And this nigga yelled. I was fucking dead. I was like, cause cause they were playing that that you know that strong emotional fucking music where you think that they about to give like some inkling that he's gonna change his mind or something like that. And that nigga was just like I was Shit, he turned blind. He turned blind into Stevie Wonder to that pain. He was like, "No, nigga, I was, I was dead. I had, oh my god, I love watching this shit, bro. I'm addicted now." And Falco, my god, look at that neck. So yeah, everything's just gone to shit. So while Falco's trying to eat Reiner, Aaron's just kicking him off. And Porco looks like a damn dead man walking. And this man says, "You know what, f it, bro? I'm gonna just let this nigga Falco eat me." So Falco ends up gobbling that nigga, up. and that man dead. Hey, man, I ain't even gonna lie, though. I didn't even like the nigga. New I pack in the air, this gas what? It's still be alive right now if you niggas ain't gas what? 
And the poor go back hitting hard, my nigga. So Reiner ends up stalking Aaron, but Aaron activates his escape plan, so he rolls out of his Titan form, and that boy hit the dash to Zeke. So while Aaron's running, everything starts to slow down, and Gabby is on the side. Straight bear at 50 cal and everything. And she like, I'm about to clip your ass and put it in a montage, because FaZe Gabby don't miss shit. <laughs> Bro, when that part happened, I'm going to be dead serious. I, 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 when that part happened and I was like, holy shit, this can't be the fucking end. This can't be the goddamn end. Cause I knew there was other episodes, so I knew it wasn't the fucking end, but I was like, damn, that like, look, man. And I know, I know, man. She killed Sasha, dog. I know. Okay, I get it. And don't get me wrong. Do I forget that little girl for doing that? Fuck no. I don't forgive her for doing that shit at, at all. I don't forgive her for at all. But I can appreciate a great marksman. Okay, I can appreciate that. Cause that nigga head did not spin. That nigga head went like a top. That bitch was just like. Get the fuck out of here. I I was I was like, oh my fucking god, what's gonna happen next? I'm you know I am just gonna do it. Cause I was like I was thinking like during like when I was talking and everything else, because I'm gonna mispronounce hoes names while I'm while I'm gonna be doing this review because of the fact of the matter is I'm dyslexic. Wait, welcome to my fucking life. But Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. I was going to, I was going to do that. I was going to, I, I was really debating on doing if I wanted to really do this series or, or not, but I like, like, like me talking about it. I don't, I can't get into everything because this fucking review will be so goddamn long. And this is not even a review. This is just me saying how this nigga got black air force energy. It's not even a fucking review. So I'm like, okay, I need to bring it back and let's talk about what's going on here because I just want to fill everybody in. Now I know, like, I feel like that nerd. I, I really feel like that nerd that literally was, it will be like, oh yeah, I don't want to be the manga guy, but I really want to be like, oh, I want to deep dive into these episodes because I'm telling you, man, these shits fucking bang, dog. I was so fucking happy after I rewatched it and I rewatched it again and I had to give it a chance so I could actually get past the art style and actually enjoy it. And I'm being dead serious. Dead fucking serious. I can honestly say there is so many people that will say like an anime has a goddamn filler. They have fucking filler. They have fucking filler. Literally every part of this fucking season that I have watched so far has not been goddamn filler. It's literally been filling in blanks that I did not know about in other, in other series and well in the previous, um, seasons. So I don't look at none of this shit as filler. It just really fucks with me because I'm like, now I'm looking at everybody like sideways and different. And the only nigga that I know who hasn't switched up is the person I've been cosplaying as. Everybody has switched up, switched back, did 18 switches, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But everything started to fall into place, and I can't, I wanna do a review, oh my God. Okay, edit all of this out. Bitch, don't tell me what to do! Because I'm literally on a ramble right now, and I'm so sorry. Sorry, Editor Shay. Damn. She really just brought us back to 2015. Shit, I thought she just ended the series. But since his head touched Zeke, he ends up getting sent to literal Titan heaven. Sure, yes. like the damn spirit world. So Zeke is chained up and looking dusty as hell, sitting crisscross applesauce right now. Looking like some BDSM God, shit. How? Wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Oh, Edward scissor hands looking ass nigga motherfucker built like salad fingers. So then here come Ymir looking all and shit looking like she been walking the sahara desert for like a millennia like damn somebody get the bitch some water so we all know zeke's plan was to stop eldians from reproducing but aaron was like you know what man nigga fuck that, that whack ass plan exactly so aaron tries to get your mirror's power but she ends up going to zeke so zeke's like all right listen little nigga uh i'm about to take your ass back in the past and you about to see some shit. 
So they go back all the way into the past and they end up going into Grisha's memories. So while they're looking at baby Aaron, Zeke is feeling some type of way. Man is like, damn, this nigga went to go get some milk to have your little damn demon baby ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. So while they keep on going through the memories, Zeke is like, yeah, bro, our pops was basically on a whole sting operation to get the founding titan. And Aaron's like, damn. Shit, nigga, I shouldn't even been born. I was a motherfucking accident. So they get in this one memory, and this man, Grisha, straight up sees Zeke. Bro, like, hey, hey, hold on, man. Nigga, how the fuck you see me, cuz? Nigga, I thought we was in Soul Reaper mode. Shit, apparently the nigga ain't blind. So now we get to the day where Grisha steals the founding titan. And, and this is where shit just got crazy. So Grisha's out here talking to the family, and... <laughs> Farida. Oh, man, about to make me act up. So Grisha's like, hey, y'all niggas need to do something. Y'all the founded family, y'all ain't doing shit. So the whole founded family don't want to do shit. And they just want to stay behind the walls. Mm -hmm. While they're listening to this conversation, Aaron is getting pissed up. Oh. Aaron is fucking triggered. Right when they was talking, bro. It's like, it's like, oh my God. It's, it's like, it's like, how could I? It's like, a, it's like a body positive person. Like, like, like one of those people that say like, oh, you know, you can't fat shame or anything else. Like, like he was getting triggered like that. Like if you said something about Lizzo and then they just start having these like uh, Harlem shake episodes and shit, like Lizzo fucking knows who the fuck they are or something like that. I am telling you, I love this part. Not because of Frida, but Frida is fine in a bit. Bitch too, um. But it was just like it was showing like the the oh oh my god you're a fucking nerd right now Shay. But it was showing the power of of how much this of how much that that passed down founder spirit that just locks them in because yeah you see it um and, and in another like in other seasons but you can literally see that she actually is starting to care and it show it like focusing in on her facial expressions of her actually starting to care and then right when her eyes flip she's like no nah, y'all niggas deserve that and it's like and you could just see the rage that's building in fucking and Aaron and I was just like let's fucking go we about to see some epic fucking shit right now so grisha reveals that the attack titan can basically see the future so mm -hmm. bruh just said you know what i'm just gonna kill all y'all niggas but bruh ends up stopping and he's like damn i can't really kill these niggas i'm not built like that but zeke is like hold on hold on grisha's supposed to kill these niggas. what the fuck is going on so the whole family like hey yo free to kill that old ass nigga run his pockets too while you at it but dude aaron is just looking down at him in just straight disgust and then this man just gave us a lesson on how to just straight up gaslight niggas. You know what, bro? Roll the clip. You pussy ass nigga. Hey, yo, get the fuck up. I think you forgot what the fuck you came here to do, my nigga. I'm gonna need you to eat that bitch. And matter of fact, kill the whole fucking family while you at it. You remember your little sister? Mm-hmm. Little bitch that got ate up by the damn dogs? Mm-hmm. Fucking auntie that nigga I didn't even get to meet. I know you remember that little bitch. Oh, how about your wife, nigga? What that bitch named Dina? Yeah, yeah, the big smiling bitch. The same smiling bitch that killed my motherfucking mama. <laughs> your side, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, looks like that mind clearing up now. Mm -hmm. Don't give a fuck if you die, but get off your ass and kill them niggas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, bro, Grisha just started swinging. Yes. <laughs> Straight up sat on the. And then just started beating her skull and then just straight up ate her. Yes. Body the entire family. Like, my God, what he squashed them. <laughs> so after he just bodied the entire royal family, which Aaron instigated his ass to do, Grisha's like, bro, what the f did I just do? So he ends up seeing Zeke again and he just straight up starts apologizing. Bro's like, son, I'm so sorry for being the terrible ass father. <laughs> sorry for going late out night and getting milk and never coming back. Even though you a snitch ass nigga, bro, I still love you. But then he like, hey, yo, listen, my boy. 
for the sake of the world. Nigga, you need to stop that damn accident. Yo, demon baby ass brother. Nigga, I should have wrapped up. So then they get warped out of the memories and just look at this man, bro. This absolute stance of dominance. Brush is straight T posing in front of his ass. This nigga. Then look at him. He like, we still haven't even got to the part where I ate his ass. So then Zeke realizes, oh, so it was you all along. Yo ass started all this shit. My God, bro. Ever since this man just straight up kissed Historia on the hand, he just went batshit. Like, he was a lost cause after that. So Zeke just starts yelling at Ymir like, Hey, yo, mate, LD is not reproduced anymore. So while Ymir is walking away, Aaron is literally ripping his hands out of these cuffs. Boy is losing his mind right now. So then he just breaks free and hits the dash. So now we get Ymir's backstory. And this is... Look... <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. It's like, it's so many good fucking layers to this fucking cake right now. And like Tino Shea, it's going to look like I'm sucking, I'm sucking, I'm sucking a metaphorical dick right now. Because literally, I am telling you the amount of layers every fucking time I just go and watch a random episode in the beginning of it. It's so many layers, like it puts so much shit into context that I'm finding myself explaining to my friends why this is important. And I'm like, I am I becoming that anime person now? Am I becoming that anime person right now? Please put my home place like, nah, it's okay. You you really excited, but I'm gonna tell you, like, knowing, knowing that that his wife if this is all this is literally zeke's fault because if zeke never snitched it's it you could it's literally you could place blame all the way back to the grandfather oh my god you're not even you could place blame all the way back to the grandfather because the fucking is that doesn't matter because i'm doing a review on that one but just to know that your side piece, that your wife got turned into a titan and ate your side, ate your second wife. That I bet you didn't even tell her about. You think she knew? Like, like I'm gonna be honest and serious. Do you think she knew a little bit who the fuck that bitch was? Because my shady side is saying that she knew. Like a little bit. She's like, like she reminds me, oh, put the clip in. Uh, uh, we together now. Let me spell your dick type thing. You gave me some glorious magical dick and I want it forever. You what is happening Okay? Right now? You didn't want me to be in love. You said Look, I don't even know your name. I thought we were just having My name is your name now, nigga. We together now. <laughs> now hand over your phone and let me smell your dick. Like, that's what, like, I'm, like, I really, really feel like she fucking knew. Like, I didn't see this bitch eat anybody else in the first episode but her. Is that just me? But I really feel like that bitch knew. I'm really digging me with short hair. I ain't cutting my hair though. Uh-uh. Is how everything started. So she was a con little soul wanting to help everybody. But mm. then these barbarian Viking ass just came in and just burnt down our whole town. So then they got made into slaves and they are straight up gouging their tongues out on some Game of Thrones type shit. So later on, somebody let a pig escape. So King Friss is like, all right, so if nobody fesses up, uh, y'all all losing an eye. So everybody just straight up snitches on Ymir. And Ymir is like... He dead. Yo, rat ass, bitch ass niggas. So then King Fritz says, all right then, you free. So she get to stepping and they just hunting her down. Straight up shooting arrows at her and using her to sport. And she like, damn, I'm really about to die over a pig. So then she finds this big ass Deku tree. So she walks in it to try to hide. But then her clumsy ass ends up falling down and ends up starting to. Well, I mean, I mean, she wasn't that damn clumsy, okay? It wasn't like her. She was, she was intentionally trying to be clumsy. I mean, they did shoot like four, three arrows into her calf. So I mean, like, I get a little girl pass. And then I don't even think that, like, I think I, I don't even think she left it open. They just picked her randomly. I'm like, like I said, like Attack on Titans don't give a fuck about kids. Uh -huh. Don't care. Stay mad. Like, like, they'll just murk a kid like that. Bitch, call the body, body. Oh, we gonna go, we gonna go. Fuck with us and then we tweak it. So 
So while she's drawn and looking like she's in the Kingdom Hearts Dark World, <coughs> this weird looking spine thing just starts swimming up to her. And then it starts to merge with her and then she transforms into a Titan. So King Friss ends up using Ymir to expand the empire of Eldia, and they end up having three daughters with very familiar names, Maria, Rose, and Cena, which are basically the same name as the three walls. So one day while King Friss is giving his speech, one dude is like, you know what? I'm about to pull some Julius Caesar shit. So he chucks a spear at him, but Ymir ends up taking the hit. So while she's impaled by a spear, King Friss is like, uh, get your ass up. I know that shit ain't gonna kill you. But Ymir was like, nah, G, I'm gonna have to tap out. So this man ends up chopping up her whole body. And bro's like, all right, take it, my daughters. Eat her ass up. We can't lose that power. Gobble that bitch up. And now after y'all die, feed your damn spawns to your damn children. And that is how the nine Titan powers came to life. So wow, if you really think about it, this whole series started because of a pig. <laughs> So Aaron ends up stopping your man. He's like, all right, listen, give me your strength and I'm gonna end this entire world. And Zeke like, hey, 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 what the f you doing, cuz? So Zeke just starts running at him, but Ymir is like, you know what? Fuck it. So this big ass spine ends up connecting his head and his body. Yes. And all the, start down yes. The day. And all the colossal titans in that start moving. Hey, look at this nigga, what the f- Nigga, look at his spine! This nigga's neck like extended 50 football fields. Motherfucker looks like a new breed of dinosaur. So Armin's like, oh my god, oh my god, this nigga's actually done it. And Mikas is like, nigga, speak up! I cannot hear shit with these size 50 ass <laughs> niggas stomping and shit. So Armin says, we warned her, he started the rumbling. But then they start to look and they like, hey yo, wait a minute. Why are the other walls down too? He don't need that many niggas, right? So then they all get teleported to the Titan spirit world and Aaron has an announcement to make. Mm -hmm. So Brad basically says, <coughs> hello, hello, uh, can, can y'all niggas hear me? Gotta make sure this is on before I give this speech. But uh, here we go. <coughs> hear ye, hear ye, all ye Eldians. I have an announcement to make. Uh, I don't really know how to put it any other way. So uh, here we go. I'm about to step on these niggas. Literally. So yeah, uh, have a great day. This nigga really went from I want to kill all the Titans to becoming a genocidal maniac. So then here come Reiner limping. Still has not done anything wrong. And I will, I will die on this hill. He has still not did anything wrong. Literally nothing wrong here. They were planning on killing them. Like, I, like if it's me versus, if it's my family versus everybody else, no tea, no shade. I'm sorry, people got to go. Get shot in your shit. Oh. They were literally gonna kill everybody in this little thing for no fucking reason. And then every other Eldian was going, every other Eldian either gets killed, either gets murked, either gets used up and abused, and then they throw them away. And it's just like, I would rather, I think, I think, I mean, like everybody, everybody was fine about picking on that one kid until that one kid fight back. And now everybody's like, oh, we're not ready. Peace and love, thoughts and prayers. Kiss my ass. Don't bullshit a bullshit. Get this, get this ass beaten. Okay. And over after he got his ass beat for the eighth time, and bro's like, damn, nigga, we're f So while pure chaos is going on right now, the gang's got Falco tied up right now, and they debating on what they should do with him. But Connie's thinking, wait a minute, you know what? I'm about to feed this little nigga to my mama. So Connie just jacks Falco and leaves. So while Sasha's family's getting tracked down by a Titan, Kaya ends up falling down a whole flight of stairs and she having flashbacks right now. She thinking, oh my God, I'm about to get my ass ate just like my mama. But then a bullet shoots through his ass. And here come Gabby, she like, move bitch. I'm about to no scope your ass point blank range. And bam. Bitch, call the body, about a week ago, a week ago. Fuck with us and then we tweak it, oh. Face Gabby hits again. My God, bro, she don't miss. Come on. So now everybody's got to take down their old comrades. And damn, bro, this is sad, yo. R.I.P. My Pixis, bro. I'm not crying.
Not him and Urban was some of the realest niggas in this show, bro. So after this, somehow, some way, this man flock is still kicking. And then this And that's what I was trying to understand. Like literally I didn't I didn't like to see him die. Okay, I didn't like to see um I didn't like to see Pixar die at all. <laughs> It, it, it bothered me but my whole thing was how did this nigga stay alive like and you gonna be like well i mean like every other person on the wall like they were okay mika son fell from the wall too mika son fell from the wall armin fell from the wall so they are alive so why okay okay whatever no but they were in mid air and they latched onto something he literally fell through the rocks and stuff like like it was like if if this is the if this is if this is the wall he was falling straight through like this ah you know what i'm saying and i was like how did he survive out everybody everybody else was swinging you know like spider-man and stuff like that but he was like literally like freeze frame like ah that's why i was like how did he not get hit as a stomped up hit by some heat or something and and tino shade this is what happens when you inbreed um you see how fucked up all them titans look <laughs> this is what happens when you constantly inbreed you get all different types types of different ailments okay i don't think i gotta tell anybody this but don't fuck your family this man just holds a straight gun up to your lane. Yo, this man is a menace. This so Armin he crazy. Down, they start talking to Gabby, and Gabby's like, "Hey, yo, listen, I need my nigga back." So Armin's like, "Shit, that boy might be Titan food in a minute." So then they keep on talking, and then she says, "Reiner got stripped of his armor." So Armin's like, "Hold on, hold on, wait a damn minute." So since the walls came undone and all the hardening came undone, then that yep. means. <laughs> well that is that is my review of course on on cj the champ all links for the original content creator will be down below um and i want to go ahead and apologize to uh to you all um if I seem very rambly in this episode, it wasn't intent. I I just been really excited about Attack on Titans, and I cannot wait to do a like a good review on it. I want to go episode by episode with Attack on Titans. I've literally been just watching it, and I have had such a fucking blast on it. Um, and I, I it's been an amazing experience. I still don't think it. It's so. Like, I'm so conflicted at times when I'm watching this with this show because of the fact of the matter is I can see all sides. But since I started rocking with the original crew, <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess bitch is about to catch a body, you know? So, again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And I hope y'all enjoyed. I can't wait. Cannot wait until y'all see the rest of my Attack on Titan um, stuff. Don't worry. Cosplays coming up, coming forward. I hope y'all enjoy those. Uh, they won't be in every one of my videos because I can't afford it because I'm not monetized. So, and literally, I am stuck in a process of been trying to get monetized. But my Google, <laughs> my dyslexia fuck me over with my google adsense and nobody at google will help me out <laughs> so i don't think this channel is ever gonna get monetized as like um i don't know if this channel will ever get monetized um to be honest and serious, I don't know. Um, my dyslexia fucked me over. I thought I was reading it correctly. And 
Back in the past, I was monetized, but that's back when um, I used to do YouTube in the beginning. And I started off as Overwatch because I love Overwatch. And then I, I became a Twitch streamer and then I, I got a regular career and then now I'm a YouTuber again. And I for I forgot I had an AdSense account. I forgot. I tried to do it. I, I So I made a new one. And then it, it shot back saying that, um, it shot back basically saying that you have two AdSense accounts and you can't, I, I tried to close it. And then it says that, it says that for me, if you close it, then that means your YouTube channel will never be monetized, but I can't have two AdSense accounts and I don't know who to talk to. And I'm not in a YouTube partner program to have somebody talk to me from YouTube. And I literally just been trying to deal with that. And, and I'm trying to combat that. And it just sucks when your learning disability fucks you over. And uh, I, I, I been in tears for the past fucking two and a half weeks, just trying to fucking figure it out. Cause right when I made, right when I had my qualifications for a partner, I was so fucking excited and I wanted to do it correctly and I fucked up, but nobody can help me unfuck this up. And I've, I've called Google and they were like, well, if you're not, if you're not a Google ad person, as in, if I'm not giving Google money um, they don't really have a customer service for Google ads. And I've looked online everywhere and there's nothing for me there. Nobody can help me. So I don't know if this, this channel will ever be monetized. Cause I, I fucked up. So, um, I just, so just to bring it back around, I'm just here <laughs> giving y'all content and making y'all happy. It's just, it's just sad a little bit that something that you put so much work and effort into, um, may not ever be monetized and, and it may not ever be a, a career, uh, even though I totally wanted it to be, but nobody can help me. Anyway, we ain't here for all that. Fucking, I have reviews coming out, okay? All right. Somewhere, some, somehow, somebody's. Uh, I don't, I don't. I'm putting it in God's hands and leaving it alone. All right, there you go. So, we got reviews coming out. Again, go support the original content creator because if it wasn't for them, I won't be able to do what I love to do which is producing funny videos and making you laugh. <sighs> and I wanna just say thank you to everybody. And like my grandmother always says, so long.